Hey coach, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time watching any of our videos, make sure and hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated with all of the newest videos we have coming out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now today's video is a little bit different. I wanna talk about how to deal with negative people, negative comments. Uh, this, this could be competitors, this could be some friends, this could be anyone who's trying to take you your idea and your business down. Fortunately, I've had a lot of experience <laughs> dealing with these types of people. Uh, this happens on YouTube all the time. Uh, this happens on Instagram. Uh, I get lots of emails. But what we have to do is understand what your mission is. If you have a mission and you're dead set on that, and let's say your mission, I'm assuming if you watch my videos, you wanna help kids, you wanna grow a business, you wanna start something from scratch, you wanna quit your nine to five job because you know it's hell and you wanna get out of there, if that's you, then you should have a mission. And your mission means that no one's gonna get in front of that. So if you have some hater or some other coach or maybe some parents who are like, oh man, he's way too expensive or oh, he's not that good of a trainer, he's overrated. I've seen everything you could possibly imagine. As you grow your business and you become more successful, Guess what happens? There's going to be more people who notice you. They see what you're doing. That brings more competition. That brings more outside noise, which means there's going to be more people who try to take you down. They're trying to say stuff. They'll post stuff to social media. And like I said earlier, if you have tunnel vision and you are on your mission, none of that will matter. Ultimately, you're here to help kids, right? You're not here to really compete with anyone. Uh, you should not have to think about competing with any other trainer. You are here to help kids. And no matter how you run your business, you could be charging high priced uh, dollar sessions the way I do. Uh, you could be charging very small amount. To me, it doesn't matter. But as you grow, as you become really more popular in your area, you're going to start getting more hate. And this is where I see a lot of coaches, they crumble. I sometimes I've gotten messages on Instagram from coaches who are like, hey, uh, this guy said this about me, or hey, this guy's program looks bigger than mine, what should I do? And when you start to focus your attention on others, guess what? You start to stop giving attention to your clients. And this is why it's so important to only just focus on what you are doing and not focus on what anyone else does. Because when you start focusing on others, you're gonna lose all the attention that you should be focusing on. And that is so important. And I've had to learn that through trial and error. There's been so many times over the past 10 years where I have, I've had to deal with a lot of bull crap, where I've, I've taken my eye off the ball and been like, oh, like why is that person saying that about me? But at the end of the day, none of that matters. You just have to focus in and hone in on your mission. When you do that, you can be as successful as you want. That's it for the video. If you have any questions for me, comment below. I'm here to help you out.